come back, I will uh, now show you about something about molecular wear. Molecular design of molecular wear is simplest in molecular electronics. So, the basic thing is in a broad sense a molecular wear can be any molecule that is ab able to mediate electron transfer along, along the chain okay, between donors and acceptors. So, if I write, a, write a in a cartoon form, uh, but before I will tell you the several me mechanisms are possible for molecular wear that is number one would be our familiar photo induced electron transfer, photo induced electron transfer above to uh, this mechanism, this one mechanism can be used in devising a molecular wire. Then number two could be electrochemistry electrochemistry. of electroactive electrochemistry of electroactive assembly means you can put the metal ion uh, charges can be metal ion can be plus 2 to plus 3 easily so that electron can be transferred and all that okay and number 3 is conductance so these three are mechanisms based on which molecular wires have been assembled okay molecular wire become very popular recently and so many groups around all around the world they do they have made or reported so many molecular wires conductance. So, here is an a simple example of a, if I have to make a photo induced electron transfer based molecular wire, I will put a donor here, donor in one corner, then a bridge this is my bridge and then acceptor, then acceptor and remember this length of the bridge can be really long, okay. can be really long this bridge. For example, let me draw a molecule that is really have been synthesized, okay. where you put a donor. and then this is the bridge acceptor okay and here this and this n n can be really big and these molecules i mean several nanometer in at of length okay they have been realized very long can be realized so it's a no, not a problem I will now show you some of these photo induced 
electron transfers that we decide uh, that we shown in the very first day or second day. For example, okay, this particular porphyrin, porphyrin no porphyrin. One, two, three, five. Okay. Similarly, Okay. And then double bond, single bond, double bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, double bond, then single bond, double bond, double bond, double bond, double bond, yes, single bond, double bond. Okay. So, this is one side, I have to make the other side also. Mm. This I made electroactive, not photo induced A R zinc. Zinc is bound inside the porphyrin ring A R. A R. Okay, zinc is bound in the porphyrin ring, and uh, okay, double bond. Okay. And then let me draw this way. Okay. It is not this. This is my porphyrin. Okay. Iron is bound here chloride. So, okay. then same. So, like this, okay. so now we did that and electron, electronic transfer rate A will be, rate is also given. 8.8, .8, so pretty fast rate 10 to the power 9 per second. So, electrochemically we can transfer electrons from here to here, okay. this is the direction electron can transfer. So, this is one example of a molecular wire, okay. another molecular wire example, this is also a molecular wire. Another example, I will not tell you many, many examples. Another example is it can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
five six hexadentate. It binds like this. Then you go. Keep on going. Some of these are very, very long. I do not have the figures with me. They are difficulty in synthesis, that is the problem. Okay. Okay. n n and this is m will be n minus 1 plus and this is n plus n minus 1 plus this 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 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Okay, so, this is another and this chain can go long and long. We ha I have seen one molecular wire where you have this porphyrins, 10 of them long goes on. So, this way the electron molecular wire through this molecular wire electron can transfer, electron will transfer will go under uh, will be transferred from here to here. Okay. I made a mistake, we will transfer from here to here, this side, because this is a higher oxidation state, lower oxidation state. So, it can go from here to here, like that, if I put some more electron here on this side. Okay. Then, I have another uh, for example, for example, that is ruthenium. Oh my God, ruthenium. For example, for example, forget it. I will tell you that you have ruthenium two and ruthenium three. Okay and you have several several uh, go like this so go like this n Okay, like this and then others are uh, taking care of other. So, you make ruthenium where 5 member, 5 coordination sites are very well done, fixed and why you take this ruthenium and all that? Because they are, uh, they are heavy, heavy metals. So, if you take heavy metals, heavy metals make strong bonds with ligands okay, because the 5 D, 5 D, 6 D, this kind of metals what will happen is a 6 D metal, then what will happen? 6 D and this, this uh, nitrogen can overlap very well, making the metal to nitrogen bond very strong, so that it will be very stable. Stability is also important, because when you go from ruthenium 2 to ruthenium 3, sometimes it may break away and then you go. So, these are the uh, different types of molecular wires. Okay. I will not tell you many, many examples, same thing. Now, I will tell you a very important uh, molecule, 
Okay. It was reported by John Mary Lane. This is called a molecular switch. Let me draw this molecular switch. This drawing uh, have to be perfect. So, I will draw no, no more uh, what you call uh, yes. Okay, no more uh, cartoon. Okay. This is down, this is up. N plus this here, here, here this is one side, the other side is same, other side will be same S okay. then Okay. positive. So, this is the compound and what about here? What about here? Per fluoro, all the hydrogens are replaced by fluorine. So, I say per fluoro. Okay. When this is closed at this point, closed, then electron will conduct through this. Electron can conduct from here to here. When this is closed and when it is open, when it is open, this will happen. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay. and then sulfur, sulfur then this okay this exactly is necessary that's why i am taking so much trouble drawing this otherwise i could have easily get away with uh, Okay, so, this is open, circuit is open. So, my circuit is open. Okay, so, what happened? Electron not conducting, electron will not conduct because circuit is open. So, like my switch here, an electric switch, if I push it one way, circuit, uh, it is off, light is off because circuit is open. If I push it the other way, then the again light will come because circuit is closed. So, in this particular molecular switch, okay, electron conducting in this case, electron conducting
electron not conducting here open electron not conducting because it is open okay and how to get these two easily this is important i can go from open to close if i heat it with i can go from open to close if i heat it with 365 nanometer light if i heat it with 365 nanometer light i can go from open to close so like my switch like my finger i put the switch off okay or on so, I put the switch on maybe with my finger. So, here my finger is here the instead of finger, this is 365 nanometer light. So, electron will start conducting from here to here. And if I allow it to, if I heat it with 600 nanometer light. 600 nanometer light my circuit is open, electron is not conducting. Okay. So, these are the, uh, this is a very important uh, design, important design, supramolecular design, where is acting like a really a switch. Okay. You heat it with 365, electron will conduct from here to here. You heat it with 600 nanometer, it will stop. So, light switch light on and off means electron is moving and not moving. <coughs> so, I have done, I have completed here logic gate, I have completed here logic gate and molecular wire and molecular switch. Let me, let me not write. Now, there is another property another property that we will be discussing from next class by a want I want to introduce today itself. Let me introduce today itself. There are certain molecules, okay. there are certain molecules, if you heat it with electromagnetic radiation means light, light is a electromagnetic radiation and there are some molecules, okay. there are some molecules where the polarizability, polarizability is directly proportional to the E, my directly proportional is does not look very good. So, P is proportional to E means polarizability, very simple uh, example with polarizability I tell you. You have a tennis ball or a rubber ball like we play rubber ball, you can squeeze it right, you can squeeze it and you have an iron ball, iron ball solid iron ball, you cannot squeeze it. So, polarizability of this iron ball is low or it is non polarizable as a matter of fact, but, but this polarizability is quite high of the rubber ball. So, polarizability actually in this case in molecular case polarizability actually is the deformation of electron cloud, okay. electron cloud deformation. When I squeeze a rubber ball you know what happens, rubber ball will become deformed. So, similarly some molecules are there which are highly, which are polarizable. So, or in other words polarizability high. So, those molecules, it is with those molecules. So, it is proportional to the, the proportional to E with ordinary light, that means with ordinary electromagnetic radiation polarizability varies linearly, 
So, P is equals alpha E. Alpha is E, alpha is the polarizability and alpha is the coefficient of polarizability, coefficient huh? or P is the polarizability of the molecule, E is the electric field. Electric field is coming from where? From light, because light has electric field and magnetic field associated with it. So, therefore, that is the case. Now, if a molecule has high polarizability, that means it can be deformed and all that. Which molecules? Which are aromatic kind of. So, those molecules, if we heat it with electromagnetic radiation, uh, with uh, heat it with laser light, you know laser light is very intense. So, we heat it with laser light. Laser light is very strong intensity. So, if you heat it with a strong intensity laser light with those molecules, some molecules, I will come to that, okay. then P is not no longer proportional to E, but P varies at P equals alpha E plus beta E square plus gamma E cube plus it goes on like a series. Okay. So, this is E p is proportional to when p is proportional to alpha uh, E, then we call it linear, but when p is not proportional to E, we call it non linear. So, some molecules are therefore, some molecules are there whose polarizability varies with non linear uh, varies non linearly in presence of a laser light. Okay, so, this I will take up from next uh, from next day onwards. Thank you.